Welcome to the University of Kentucky High Tunnel Research Facility located at the Horticulture Research Farm in Lexington, Kentucky. We'd like to give you a brief tour of our site to see our structures, and then we will discuss our growing practices. These are what we call our stationary tunnels. They were built in 2011 and are laid out in an east-west orientation. We call them stationary to differentiate from the movable tunnels you see here. Throughout the season, we can move the protective structure from one plot to the next, which allows for greater flexibility in crop rotation as well as more opportunity to incorporate cover cropping into our system. Another reason we are experimenting with movable tunnels is to avoid disease and insect pressure as well as prevent soil salinity accumulation. All of our tunnels are Gothic style and measure 30 feet wide by 72 feet long. This structure contains the maximum square footage allotted for in the NRCS Seasonal High Tunnel Initiative. This is the Environmental Quality Incentive Program, or EQIP. Our structures are covered in two layers of six mil four-year plastic. Let's step inside for a little more detail. The plastic on top of our tunnel is double layered with an inflation fan filling the space between layers with air. The fan's electricity is the only energy these tunnels directly use. The doors and end walls do not come with the standard kit. We have 8 foot by 8 foot sliding doors covered in polycarbonate sheeting. The 8 by 8 doors slide on standard barn or livestock door hardware. The tracks are available from agricultural supply companies. These end walls are framed in with 2 by 4s and instead of using furring strips to keep the plastic tight, we have reused old drip tape. All other plastic is attached using wiggle wire. Now let's look at how and why we grow what we do. Our operation features a diversified year-round vegetable rotation. We combine traditional high-value crops like tomatoes with other profitable crops such as greens, root vegetables, and beans. This means we can harvest continually year-round while still practicing crop rotation. Our tunnels are always in production with multiple different crops and varieties. You're not going to be growing tomatoes in December, but you can keep some good-looking plants alive and, and uh, get some good produce out when most people are stay, staying indoors. <laughs> we grow in eight 30-inch beds that run the length of the tunnel with around two feet of space at the end of each tunnel. The beds are set on 42 inches on center. This gives us about 12 inches of aisle space between the beds. It can be a tight working area, but this arrangement allows us to fill up the space completely. In the course of a given year, we will grow a salad mix, head lettuce, spinach, carrots, beets, strawberries, cucumbers, bush beans, and several varieties of kale, peppers, eggplants, and tomatoes. Once we have selected varieties of crops, we need to think about moisture and fertility. One of the advantages of farming in tunnels is also a disadvantage. Rainfall never reaches the crops. Irrigation water will be the only moisture that the plants receive. Each tunnel has a one inch black plastic orchard tube header line that supplies standard drip tape or T-tape. This header delivers water directly to the roots of the crop while avoiding the leaf wetness that contributes to many foliar diseases and fruit rot in the field. All of the supplies for this irrigation system are available from horticultural supply companies. Since building our tunnels, the setup we just discussed has not changed, but we have transitioned from two inch blue lay flat supply lines to frost free hydrants. This way, each tunnel is watered individually. These hydrants feed directly into the black header system. We use an integrated nutrient management plan incorporating compost, pelletized poultry manure, and for some crops, fertigation with fish emulsion. The compost is used primarily as a soil amendment, but we account for the nitrogen and phosphorus in the compost when calculating our other fertilizer application rates. For specific fertility applications, consult extension materials for your crop. Most of our tillage is done with a BCS 853 walk-behind tractor. We also use a mower, rotary plow, and chisel plow regularly in our tunnels. We also rely heavily upon hand tools for our production system. You know, sometimes hear people call this a scuffle hoe because it scuffles along the ground. But uh, it's great for knocking down small weeds 
and just uprooting them without hitting the plant you're trying to weed around. Growing in these structures can be adapted to a spectrum of mechanization, but each aspect of the production systems must be considered when mechanizing operations. For example, increasing door sizes to allow for larger equipment access, considering your bed sizes, and enterprise diversity to name a few. For more details on our construction and planting dates, find the link to our website in the description of this video. To visit the University of Kentucky High Tunnel Research Facility, contact your county extension agent to plan a tour.